So, so many of you guys have, uh, I'm sure, have seen the, the new Movi, uh, the you know, driver stabilized uh, ca camera platform, and here's like a, a, a poor man's version of that. Uh, basically, what it's using is it's using a, a little, uh, you know, uh, a camera gimbal that's actually designed for a, a RC helicopter, and I just modified it slightly so that so that it works for these sort of you know smaller SLR cameras. You can put a bigger one, but then you have to move this big, this top part of the of the cage. And uh, you know, allows you to basically move move around while the camera stays really steady. So now it is going to take up a little bit of your you know your time uh, and and you know a little bit of do-it-yourself kind of skills, but you're saving a lot of money. I mean, this whole thing will cost you probably around five hundred dollars, maybe five five fifty. Whereas you know the Movi, it's I believe it retails right now for fifteen k. So uh, it's a uh, it's like I said, it's a good indie uh, filmmaker kind of solution. Uh, anyways, let me show you guys how uh, how I do it. So first thing you want to make sure is just that the camera is more or less balanced. So uh, you have to basically adjust these two screws for the up and down. Uh, there's one, two screws here for back and forward, and then you have one more screw here for the roll. It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. It's not like a steady cam, but the better you balance it, then the less the motors have to work. And the motors are not very powerful, uh, but they have uh, you know they don't have a lot of torque, but they're very fast. So that's why you know the more you balance it, then the, 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 the you know the better it's gonna work um, and that's it so once you uh, you hooked it up uh, I mean you balance the camera you kind of want to leave it on level ground while you're connecting it and I just connect uh, you know a lipo battery I have a, a 3s lipo battery there and I just connect it and you're gonna see it initiate see so it's going and here's the IMU here's the whole brains of the of the sensor, so it's going sort of calibrating itself right now, and it's going to go to its normal position. So here is a, a little uh, RC receiver, and uh, that I connected, and basically I connected three cables: one for power, one to control the roll, one to control the pitch of the gimbal. So I'm using this uh, uh, RC transmitter, and this one's uh, you know a bit more fancy. It's, it's not expensive, 50 bucks, but I would say you don't need anything that big or you know with that many channels or that, that much range because you know I, I just used it because that's what I had. But you can literally buy something for 15, 20 dollars, like a two simple, simple two-channel uh, RC transmitter, and then you can just connect it to your handle here. And this way, you, while you're walking, you can sort of control uh, you know the the tilt of the camera. And also the the roll, you know, go left and right. Uh, and this works basically even while you're while you're, uh, for example, walking with this and the the gimbal stabilizing the camera. You can make it, for example, look down, and then you know go up, for example. So that's why it would be more convenient than the way I have it right now, which is just hanging off my neck, just having it appear at the handle, and you can just walk with it and you know adjust the, you know where the camera is looking. But anyways, I'm gonna show you this thing in action. I'm gonna adjust it so I can sort of put it close to me here. And I can see it, and as you can see, yeah, I can move it easily like this. The camera is pointing always in one direction, uh, and uh, also I forgot to tell you, I just put it on this basic uh, shoulder uh, sort of a, a mount that I, I show in, in another video. Uh, very cheap, and uh, what's good about it is that, uh, uh, like I said, this gimbal. I mean, right now it's actually. Upside down because this is a gimbal I use in uh, you know, uh, RC helicopters. So uh, you can actually put it, you know, hanging down this way, so you can get really low shots. And with this, you can easily then switch the, you know, flip the handles, and you can hold it another way. And uh, and you can easily just sort of adjust this way, you know, how far you want it from your body. But what's good about doing holding uh, the gimbal instead of holding the gimbal directly, which you could. What's good about holding it sort of, you know, having your arms separate like this and having one, you know, the back of it resting on your shoulder is you're not going to get any jerky motions because the one thing that this gimbal doesn't stabilize is left and right basically the the, the panning and that's because you you know it's, it's you, you want it to be so that one person is able to operate it and uh, and uh, you know if you were holding the gimbal directly then it's going to be very sh very shaky you'll see it kind of going left and right a little bit but this way to go left and right you got to sort of turn your whole body so it's going to be a lot smoother and uh, anyway so i'm going to step back now and just get this nice shot here uh, walking through the forest. Uh, 
Uh, now, as you can see up here, you know, it does a pretty good job keeping the camera from rolling or tilting. Uh, but there is a bit of a wobble, um, and that's from what I understand, uh, the, the, you know, basically uh, you need to spend more time uh, balancing the camera on this thing. Once you balance the camera, then the motors don't have to work as hard, uh, and then, you know, you, you won't get these tiny little vibrations like you're seeing here. Uh, especially when I'm, you know, when I'm going re really fast. But, I mean, if you just take a look at this stuff, you know, I'm walking all over these big boulders, and I'm going up and down. And, you know, to do this with a Steadicam, you know, you have to know what you're doing, you have to have a lot of experience using Steadicam. With this thing, uh, you don't really have to pay any attention whatsoever, and you get already pretty good shots. Uh, again, it's a do-it-yourself project, so the more time you spend, you know, uh, balancing the camera and also adjusting the software that comes with the gimbal, then the smoother the, the shots you'll get. Um, and uh, it's it's you know it's not overly complicated. Uh, like I said, get the gimbal and get the the shoulder rig. Just you know check out the links below in the, you know in the, the description of the video uh, for where you can get those, and uh, and you can make it one yourself. So, uh, as you could see, uh, you know, it makes, makes your job a lot easier. It's, uh, you know, Steadicam, I mean, Steadicams are great, but, you, you know, it takes a lot of practice learn how, learning how to use this. This thing is my second day with it. It's, uh, you know, the, the, more, the more steady you're walking, the, the better it's going to be. But, for example, like walking up here, as you can see, there's so many rocks. If I was looking at what the camera sees and not concentrating where I'm putting my feet, you know, it's probably going to be a bad accident. So, whereas, uh, you know, if I'm walking up here, I, I just more or less know cameras pointed where I want it to be pointed. And for example, if I take a step down, you can see the camera keeps it, you know, level. It doesn't matter if I rotate left or right or go forward, backwards, that kind of thing. So that's, that's what makes, uh, you know, your job a lot easier. And it's, uh, it's not as easy, for example, so what's great about a Steadicam is that once you learn how to use it, you can easily, for example, you know, change direction. Uh, like left and right, there's no problem with this, obviously, because you're moving with your body. But what I, what I mean is up and down. With this thing, it's a little bit more difficult because you got to use a, a remote control or you know something like another way to basically tell the motors to point the, the camera down a little bit. But um, like I said, if you get a smaller radio, not like this big one that I have, and you put it here, I'll, I think that would be a great option, and you can very easily then, while walking, sort of point the camera where you want it to be. And uh, you know, but even this thing, it works. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go and get, do do a few more tests to show you guys. Now here you can see me walking on a, you know a lot more steadier ground, which makes uh, my job a lot easier. Uh, now I did I did not adjust the, the, the any of the the settings that come you know uh, with the gimbal. I'm just gonna use the factory settings, which is uh, well, from what I've been told uh, not what you should be doing. Uh, the, 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 when you buy the gimbal, it comes with a little bit of like the simple software that allows allows you to adjust the the gain settings for how much the, the motors are compensating, and you have to adjust those for the type of camera and the lens, you know, and the size of it. Uh, that you're using so uh, if you do that then it should take out you know all those little, little wobbles in there I basically didn't have the time to do that so I just uh, spent a few hours just mounting it on my shoulder rig and then uh, balancing roughly the camera and you know these are the kind of shots that I got uh, so if you guys are interested in doing one yourself then uh, just check out my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, for more info and uh, as always subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Facebook thanks